Hello everyone, my name is Yelsum, and welcome back to Regrowth. As you probably guessed here, um, I want to try and make the copper seeds today. I'm not sure how it's going to work, given that we need four of these, and I think it takes anywhere... I think it's a Minecraft day per, so at least 20 minutes, and I don't think I have that much time. But we will see. So what we end up needing for these it, is something that would stop moving. Okay, that's interesting. All right, but we need, according to the book, we need 16 clay, 16 floral orange, and four weak essence. Well, we happen to have some of that. So we got our essence. So we've got enough for one set, easy. So you can see, we've got lots of flowers. But we're going to turn this one in right now. Clean. That gives us one. Get out of there. And we will put it right there so we don't lose it. And now we've got enough left to run it a couple more times. We're going to put it in here, take a peek. One day, 18 hours. Yeah, so that's going to take a little bit. Now on the plus side, it lit these up too. So I, I finally, you know, just got to the point where it's like, you know what? You know, everybody was telling me in the comments, you know, it's, or I think I got at least one saying, you know, you really need to basically do the copper. And it's like, yeah, I need to. So I went and I made a whole bunch of crossbreeds. This one, this one's bad. Garlic, I don't know why, but when I try to take the recipe of this one, it crashes my game. So not sure how that one's going to work out. I may have to look that one up online or if anybody knows what plants need to be crossbred together. My guess is it's going to take, you know, wolf's bane or like a snowbell seed or something, but I've got them all. Even little V-shrooms. So we just go through here. Spam the ever-living... No. Daylight side of things so we can get these cleared up. I left them unclaimed that way I could remember which ones I'd done. And I think it was... I had to have... Red? Because I had these right here unlocked. These three. And it didn't open up the first mystical flower of this primary quest. I had to get... I think it was... I want to say at least a daisy and a white tulip, maybe, before it uh, it opened up the rest of them, and I was able to move on into it. So it wasn't it wasn't complicated. It just kind of took some time, basically. And there. So now those are all done. Still got to get that one done. So like I said, if you know if you know the recipe for um, garlic, <laughs> please let me know because apparently that button is bad. Now let's put. Uh, no, didn't I have? Aha. Uh -huh. I have the flowers here somewhere. Let's just spam click across this here. Let me do it. All right, and uh, I really wish I had a dolly. Oh, and these. I did notice something really cool that I don't think was here before. If you do uses on this, come over to here. If you have a witch's oven, 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 you can convert uh, the vis, vis shroom, vis shroom into uh, wood ash, which is kind of cool. It also gives foul fume, which is really nice. We just don't have a witch's oven yet, so it's gonna a little bit, a little bit, but it's a nice little use. It means we can get wood ash pretty quick as a uh, side effect if we need it. But I don't think once we get into it too far, we're really gonna need all that much of it, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. It was just kind of neat as an alternate use. I wish I could do it right now, because then I could make it make a uh, make words. Yeah, mutandus. Since we need it, we have everything else. But these are cooking along pretty good. I had to expand the uh, skeleton soul seeds because I just was not able to keep up with the amount of bone meal I was using. Just like right now, I have one crop stick left. One crop sticks, however that works, because I've been running out of trees. But I just kind of took this little, uh, unnamed, dude, it's not unnamed, it has a name. Japanese Maple Shrub Sapling. It's kind of a neat little plant. It yields around four or so planks or logs per. And it spreads out to, it can take up this entire area. But that's kind of the generic size. But I usually get maybe uh, two to four saplings back from it, which is kind of nice. So it worked out really good as... Whenever I needed them, I'd come in here, I'd harvest it up, convert them into planks, convert them into sticks. So, how much... 
what was that number two yeah yeah so it's gonna be a minecraft day so that's not terrible um ooh, charcoal gives us coal essence black floral powder not that big a deal charcoal you know we might as well do that one too charcoal is a little bit easier to get to as well so we can do that and then it wanted 16 black we might as well get some of these taken care of and for these should be enough wait we can oh six escape why do I keep moving over there clean okay put you here and what else we got uh ferric of course red sand gray plain gray and eight all right let's just empty these out i don't know why that's in there so we need eight of these was it 16 red stand, which we should be able to do? A whole bunch of clicky spam here. Uh, wait. Yeah, back. You go in there. Then we needed gray. Gray. I don't have gray in there because gray is right here. Because it's still growing. Um, I don't have another one easy enough let's just convince one of these that it should grow up and give me there we go those haven't fully maxed out yet they were most recently planted compared to all the others i don't remember if it needed 16 or not it probably didn't with my luck but we'll see yep 16 8 16 manual give it gives us iron i think we needed I know we need four of these. Um, iron seeds, I'm not so sure about. Okay, so we need three and a copper. So it's going to be a bit. We need at least five coppers. So that may not get done today by the looks of it, since it is already pretty late for me. I did notice something. I'm not sure. I thought we had to upgrade these things in order, so I don't think this will work. But we can make the gold upgrade. Because we can make the upgrade templates and we obviously have gold so I don't I want to say this is not gonna work yeah I think you have to upgrade them in sequence so I thought I'd give it a shot just to wrong just just in case since we had the materials but it was a long shot so let's um, no. okay so we've got a little bit before we can do those again we may actually better run this one one more time but we'll see um, there's something else. We already got our snorkel. It's too bad we can't find a oyster clam thing. What are you? These almost look like snips of some kind. These things are cool. They'll help building quite a bit. We can use them to uh, build blocks based on orientation from another one. Like if you click on one side of a block, you can extend off the other. It's kind of cool. Encoding. We already got the bees going, and it gave us, yeah, that one's, unlocks one quest elsewhere. The bees are actually doing pretty good. I was kind of hoping I would get a uh, chicken jockey in there and get some eggs so we could start doing other things, but it didn't work out. So these guys are actually producing really well. They haven't died off yet. They're, ign no, this one's pristine. Ignoble. Okay, so we got one pristine set and the rest are ignobles, but these are modest. Modest, okay. But this set of uh, combs right here have come out of these, so they're doing really well, which I'm kind of happy with. But I was kind of hoping we could do a little more with them. I really want that one done. It's going to bug me. Yeah, see, we just need eggs. Which we haven't even really got into runes yet. But I mean, we've got this stuff, but these require iron, so we definitely can't do those yet. 
It's all dependent on that um, repeatable. I already looked at that one. That's all done. Interesting. What's this? 11 and 10. Slate. That's right, you can... Yeah, you can craft slate back into blocks. Okay, so that one's, that one's workable too. Does this mean I can... Oh, cool, I can turn it in again. Let's go do that real quick, before I forget. Uh, it's like 16... 16... 4? Yep. And put that away. I was kind of hoping to have all of these but one done before we started today the recording, but it took me a lot longer to get all the plants spread up, and then that whole weekend plans thing kind of got in the way. It was a bit of a pain. But, you know, unfortunately real life has to take precedence sometimes. I did move the floor up in here. I'm not sure if it's messing with the spawn rates at all, and it is kind of dark in here. Because I wasn't sure if light was causing issues, which I don't know if it is. But, because they don't seem to be spawning as often as I hoped they would. I'd actually, I went up here and, I don't know if it's light outside yet, I think it is. I put a roof over the whole thing to see if maybe there was light getting in. That didn't help. So, I have any baddies around here? I walled the whole thing in. That didn't help. Well, I didn't wall the whole thing in. I left this area over here open on the off chance that occasionally something gets sucked in. So you can kind of see the hole over there. So that's kind of working. I'm trying to think of what else. We do need some... Maybe we'll do that. We need some more mana. Do we, we only had... Eight quests elsewhere. I'm guessing it's probably iron that's going to open up the rest of those. But we need some more mana production. So let's take a look what the hydrangeas take. Um, H. We need generating hy was it? hydroangeas. However you pronounce it. Uh, eh, mana powder. That's not the end of the world. So it's two cyans and two blues and a mana powder. So that's not terrible. I mean, it's. I think it's gunpowder. So I think we can make a couple of them. Do that and get that going. Oops. I filled down the hole. So yeah, we have enough power here. Make two of those. And let's see what we need. Cyan. And blue. So we should one, two, one, two, one, and seed. Okay. Uh, wait, right click. That is an awesome feature. And it's done not having to constantly replace all those seeds in there every time. But we're only going to put one of these out right now since they do decay. We don't want them to burn up. And we're also going to need our wand so we can replant that spreader. Which is here. I think things are going to start picking up again, again once um, copper and the various metals are, made, are going where they're supposed to be. Actually, I already turned that around. Oh, call me. Slurp. And how we doing? Yep. Okay, good. Producing power. It's linked up. And we are gaining power. Good. Because I used a whole bunch of it out of the hole to use this to convert some of our clay, or sand into clay, to get the clay we needed to do the um, repeatables. Alright, put that away. How are our plants doing? Let's see how this one's doing. See if it came out really any well, 889. That's not bad. So we'll restart this set here. Give it a chance to move along here. 
I've been kind of messing with different patterns to see if I could come up with one that worked better than just a straight run like this. Because what ends up happening is sometimes you'll get like a junky one will end up here where it'll go 889, which is this one. This will be 889 as well. But sometimes if you were to run it kind of diagonal, so you had a double set there, a double set here, and a double set here, this might be 889, but this might be 899. And then when the two of them combine together, they have a chance to go higher. So I don't know if it actually produced any better, but it definitely looked a little more interesting. But, you know, they still take forever to grow. We can at least speed them along a little bit using our uh, pretty much infinite supply of bone meal, which I actually filled that thing up and had to stuff some in there. Um, teaches. You know, maybe we should take a look at the cartography stuff. Empty map. Oh, you're going to require. Oh, no, you don't. Flint. Well, okay, that, that might work. Empty maps or just some ink and a bunch of paper, which we can, we can do that. Get some more quests taken care of. Might as well, since we can't do the other one right now. And then we need some flint. We need some sticks. And, oh, wait, no. We also need to put... I have a lot... Oh, did it give me char? Hmm, weird. Um, black. Nah, let's not use that. Did we have... Yes. This will work. I think. So, did I, did I read that right? Okay. Empty map. How many maps do we need? We needed one. Okay, now we need to make this thing, which is... Sticks, flint rod. How do you make a flint tool rod? Is it... No, that's too easy. Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, maybe we need to make it this way. Yeah, we go to tool rod pattern. Okay. Uh, say what? Okay, that was weird. And a shard, and a shard. Okay. I've been noticing some oddities with the inventory. I'll pick items up and like those honeycombs I was having an issue with the other day where I said I picked them up but they didn't show up and they were actually there but so like my inventory showed like the bees here and then there was nothing right here if you pick up an item it would cause it to update and all of a sudden they would show up or if you clicked in one of these spots so it was really weird because it, it looked like they weren't there but as soon as I touched those spots they appeared I've had it happen a couple other times with different items while I was picking up all these seeds. Like all of a sudden my tens would disappear and I'd kind of freak out and yeah, they were there. They just decided they wanted to mess with me. Which apparently that's what seeds do. So that gives us this. And that gives us a book and some empty maps. We close that, put that away and that way. Alright, that gives us the world at your fingertips. Oh my goodness. Map, paper, how do you make you a book? Okay, how do we make you? Okay. Huh. Do. I don't think we can do it that way. I think it has to be the same type of wood. Okay. So if we make some slabs. And then do that, we get an oak wood label. Alright, and then six pieces of paper, an empty map. Okay. So we combine the book and this to get the slotted book. One one map. Six pieces of paper. Alright. What is it? Uh no. Is it like book, map? this. Okay, that gets us the atlas. And that gives us more empty maps. Alright, that... I don't know if that actually really did anything. Ooh, so... Um, 
how does it work? Over there? No. I want zoom level one, auto center. How how do you create a map? Oh, wait, okay. No. Maybe you have to choose auto create. There we go. All right, so this gives us the world around us. What is that? It's got to be like, oh, it's got to be one of the trees or something out there. Okay, so it's kind of a map of our area, but now if we zoom it out one, I'm guessing it's going to use up another map, maybe. It almost kind of seems like maybe it's taking the maps for us and it will, yeah, so if we zoom back in, maybe what it will lose if we have a whole bunch of maps in here and you started moving around, maybe it would uh, automatically move you into a new map. A little bit dark out. Let's, let's find out. I suppose, although this might actually tell us. Um, scope of your, wait. The scope of a map for recording your surveying of the world doesn't cut it. You might be able to collate multiple maps in a single tome, the atlas, by carrying it around. By carrying around a drafting compass in it, too, you should be able to mark locations. Hmm. Okay, so we shall make another compass and see if we can jam it in there. So let's grab. These can we make tool rods? Awesome, we can. That gets rid of those pieces. Already got some sticks. Already got some flint in my inventory and my flame frame, flame rate. Frame rate seems like it's a little twitchier today than normal. And you. Okay. So if I open you up, can I put? Oh, I can. Cool. This must be like toys you can put in here. So I want that one right there. Put some stuff away. Let's put this thing. All right. Um. Huh. Oh, it's the top of that thing right there. That's what that is. That red dot a little to my uh, left there is netherrack. So we need to go this way. Let's see. It's on auto create. So so there. Well, there we go. Okay. So if I walk off the edge. It immediately recollects the area. Okay. Well, we might as well kill this guy. He's been hovering around here for a while. He didn't. He doesn't seem to uh, despawn like you'd think he would. But he'll give us some slime balls, which we, which we can probably use eventually. I'm gonna die now. Die. Hi. There we go. He's worth four. It's useful. Um, okay, the house is right there. Okay, so we're going east. Right? Yeah. East. So that shouldn't be that bad. So the goblin, I think the goblin, yeah, there it is. The goblin hut. Let's go take a look at that one. And one of the comments said when I when I broke a hole in the floor, he, uh, he bolted, or she, or it, or whatever it is. I didn't even notice that, and I started looking back at it, and it looks like maybe the goblin was trapped, and by, uh, opening a hole in it to get the cauldron the goblin escaped and ran which is kind of amusing so who knows where the goblin went hopefully in the future we don't like need one and have to hunt that thing down but we'll never know Ooh, what do we got anything of interest so there's the goblin hut so this way just kind of curious to see because the map loads a larger viewable area than we can see, or at least easily, if anything interesting comes up on the map. Like, you know, maybe we could find something bigger. What is right over... Is that sand, maybe? That is either... That's got to be... Okay, that's just this really big pond. So there's plenty of sand here, which is good. I'm actually going to gather up some of this stuff real quick and then I'll be back. Okay, moving along again. Right there. 
Okay, so apparently those obsidian tiles show up as green. That's weird. It's good to know, but it's still weird. Okay, so there's some more sand right over there. I about walked into the lava. Should probably not do that. There's the wicker man we looked at that I think had a zombie spawner in it. I'm about to hop off another zone. There we go. Anything? Mm, nope. Bunch of trees and bases over there. So don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't help it when you look down, you look at the map. Uh, well, not much. So if we open this back up and we zoom it up a little, drop it back out. And this would be the map that we took inside the base originally. So I'm get I'm betting we can open this thing up and pull out each of these individual maps. But this thing allows us to keep them all kind of in one inventory and scroll between them and zoom in and out fairly easily. Plus, apparently, we can mark them in some way. What is that red? Do we have lava over there? And there's that green. Okay, that green's the grass by the base. There's got to be lava right here. Or something really weird. Oops. No, wrong button. Yep, surface lava. Alright, so nothing to see. Got it. Alright, well, that was something at least. Let's get... Uh, there it is. <laughs> get lost. Uh, I'll get back inside before it gets dark. I did get a decent amount of sand. You can convert uh, the sand. It's like the cracked sand with a bucket of water. It gives you one of the normal Minecraft sand. But it's really slow if you don't have some way to automate it. In theory, if we had some way to um, filter inputs and outputs automatically, we could uh, set a redstone signal on a uh, a dispenser and put empty buckets in it, facing a, a water source, an infinite water source. And you know, I just have it put a bucket into it. It would click, which would suck a piece of water out into the bucket, and then something else would pull that bucket out. But we don't have anything that can do that. So let's see, that goes in there. The other stuff is inside of it, so we're good there. Put our red sand away, crack sand away. Do I have any slime? I thought I had extra slime somewhere. Maybe I put it in with the critter stuff. Mm, yep. Alright. Um, you, you. And, okay, so we did that one, we did that one. Um, this needs to get done eventually. World's made of. Let's just do this one more time. And yeah. Well, I'm going to kill some time, see if I can wait for this thing to recycle one more time. I think I might be able to do it before I run out of time. But I want to get this seed made, and then I'll be back, and we'll uh, go from there. Okay, so it's been a little bit of time, not much. Maybe, I mean, the sun's moved a little bit, but not enough. I went back over how much time I have left tonight, and unfortunately I do not have as much as I thought, so we're not going to be able to get that seed created tonight. We will uh, chalk that up to bad planning on my part, and hopefully we can get it done next time. But for now, I think we're going to say, we're going to call it basically, we're going to say we got our atlas made, you know, we got that stuff. What else did we do? Atlas, a couple repeatables, completely forgot already. Eh, story of how the weekend's going, I guess. But for now, I'm going to say if you liked the episode, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. You will see more videos. If you want to share it with someone so they can see how to make an atlas, how to use an atlas, and hopefully how not to get lost, send them a link. Maybe they'll like the video. Maybe they'll subscribe. And then, you know, you get to be happy because you got to share something with someone. And I get to be happy because channel support is awesome and always appreciated. So, again, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions on, you know, just different things we can try and work on, let me know. And we'll take a look at them and see what we can do. Thank you.